So I'm walking back from a little bit of evening shed training with the dog. And I got to thinking about trail cams and shed hunting. Typically we will use trail cams right during hunting season. See, uh, you know, in October if we have a day walker. But I don't know about you, but I always, you know, towards the end of the season when one of my trail cams runs out of batteries, I turn them off. I'm done for the season. And I got to thinking this year, I want to get real serious about shed hunting with the dog. You know, we've been putting a lot of preseason work in. And honestly, I'm just looking forward to it. And so I was thinking, you know what? I had to run some trail cams. And uh, I've never done it before, so I, I can't really speak to whether this is going to help or not. But I'll tell you the reason I'm going to do it and it has nothing to do with effectiveness. I, I don't know about you guys, but I have a ritual during hunting season when I go and pull SD cards. I get home, I start a fire in the fireplace, I grab a cold beer and put it in a frosty mug, and I put that SD card in my computer. And I'll tell you what, that's 30 minutes I look to, forward to every week. And, uh, you know what there is zero reason that I shouldn't be doing that in March and April and figuring out where these big bucks are dropping anyway this is just a miscellaneous thought I wanted to share with everybody and I would encourage all of you to run trail camps this spring if you in fact enjoy looking at trail cam picks now I'm interested, if anybody watching this is, if they run trail cams in the, uh, you know, in the spring when deer are dropping, put a comment down below about your best strategy, what's working for you. Let's uh, learn from the audience. All right, everybody, have a good evening. Talk later.